Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode, week three in November. We've got a big one for you today. We've got a bunch of bike stacks from Matty Cole's channel. Oh. Addo puts a cracker down his pants uh, all the way from Port Lincoln. We've got the footage from that. Sticko is back with another brilliant DVD review of one called Brute Horsepower. Listen, ESO have just released their new single, Bullet and the Target. And all profits from this MP3 are going to help poverty-stricken communities over in Africa. But right now, we're going to go into a clip from our boy Jason Collins from Channel J. He's just got back from Mexico. He was fortunate enough to be on the beach filming when Andy Irons and Bruce Irons and Dino paddled out to uh, get some more footage for the trilogy movie. But uh, let's go and check that out right now. We'll be back after this. Uh, some pretty mad footage there, but straight back from Mexico right now, sitting on the couch with me is Jason Collins. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, thanks, Gravy. Welcome to the Scuff Couch. Cheers, good to be here, eh? Good on ya. Hey, um, some pretty mad footage there. How, how were you when you uh, when the boys paddled out? Oh, mate, I was pretty stoked, eh? I was just I was pretty lucky. I was on the beach filming my girlfriend and a couple of other guys, and uh, Dean Morrison and Andy and Bruce Irons paddled out and started getting tubed off their nuts. 
So your lady was out there surfing these waves before they got out there? Yeah, she was out there trying to mix it up with the boys. <laughs> Mate, she got bigger figs than me, I reckon. Some pretty heavy waves going down out there. Yeah, it was pretty heavy on behind the rock there. Where was it? Where was it? It's, um, can't tell you that. <laughs> boys there won't be right. too happy. But that wasn't um, where you went the whole time, like you were all over the place, weren't you? Yeah, we had five months over Mexico, Central America, and we just took the bus and followed the coast. It was epic. You got some other good footage? Yeah, I got heaps of good crazy barrel footage, uh, twice, three times as big as that stuff we just saw. Yeah, I've never seen, never seen waves like that, really. Awesome, mate. Well, welcome home, brother, and uh, if you want to check out any of the uh, footage that uh, Jace has got from his trip in Mexico, go check it out on Channel J, but right now, enjoy the rest of the episode. Thanks for joining us, Jaya. Cheers, thanks. Don't give up. Yes, I'm a bachelor. Don't give up. Don't give up. So, if you wanna break me, see you've got to take away from me the silence of God. Cause nothing or any woman Not can I satisfy my soul like the silence of God Not Yes! 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 What's up, net crew, new web fiends, clicking around, you're back to me again. Today we're going to review the worst fucking movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Root Power, Horse Power 16. This is one for all you Westies who like doing burnouts, eating Pluto pups, and then hanging around smelling gasoline all that. This movie's just dog shit. You can check it out if you want, but you know, all you're gonna say, burnouts and pretty epic cars and some dirty bitches who are just getting it out for the Westies. They love it. If you buy that, you're wasting your money. But if you're into cars and doing cars up and all that kind of shit, I like good cars, but you know, I'm not into watching that shit. I'd rather watch a porno or something. I'll give it half a star because there was a chick in there that was alright. Anyway, see, see you later. Oh, that's I believe that together we can really make a difference. One man cannot make a difference, but if we can partner, if we can have a collective will and a willingness to make a difference in our nation, we can really do make a difference. Was one in a trillion in a world where they're gunning civilians Where conspiracies just drop on us like plummeting buildings Government villains at night, we are renegades who fight Under a pilgrim's plight for a better way of life See, we sail the seas with the sun-stained atlas To escape the day-to-day -day mental mundane madness that consumes us It's true, though my real answer lays And stepping back to view life's real grand and nay. The crucial issues are lost in this crazy world's wealth How can lust for bucks outweigh one baby girl's health? Through the cyclone, we 
hit the third world and found heroes with nothing but so everything smiling and round In the air, turn to raining rose petals that covers the earth's surface while the children throw pebbles from dreams to things to a crack in the concrete from a seed to a tree. I'll make it happen at God's speed. Whatever happened to increase the peace, fight the power for people to defeat the beast. Well, it's right here, it's right now. It's anything I plan. It's a poem that proves a point. It's everything I am. So on a rainy day, I made my way to the promised land and back. And now, safe to say, in a crazy way, this song is where it's at. It's equal verse, but wasn't given. Teachers versus the problem, children. Evil versus the honest living people versus the politicians. <laughs> Like the sun will rise Pure like the thought if I jump or fly uh -huh. I am revolution, my path is belief So how can they possibly Yo. stop what they can't even see? You see they tax the poor Their evil got them coughing up There's no real freedom under illegal modern mafia Set the goal to unite, get caught to take aim The people are the power to make change So make way Pretty cool clip there from Bliss and ISO, guys. But that's it for the end of the episode, Jace. Thanks for uh, joining us on the couch today. Good work on the mo. Sweet. Cheers, mate. And uh, I like yours as well. Is that a dirty Mexican mo or is that, you know, something you prepared for Movember? I think like a dirty Sanchez, they call it over there. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, guys, on that note, and speaking of another charity, um, this is, if you didn't know, it's all in aid of Movember. And go to Movember.com. And find the Scuff Mo team and donate some of your hard-earned bickies because it's all for a good cause. We'll see you next week.